Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com, and today I'm going to use this science fiction troop transport to talk a little bit about the importance of editing. Now, I'm sure you have written an essay in the past, and so you know that editing is not necessarily about the words themselves. It's not about technique. Editing is oftentimes about just rearranging the stuff that's already there to make structural choices in order to make your essay just make more sense. Well, drawing is no different, because the other day I was drawing this troop transport, and at the end of the day, I called it complete. And then I came back a little while later, and I looked at it again, and I thought, hmm, there's some problems here in the front, and also the back. I'm not sure what's going wrong, but I think it needs a little work. So when I came back the next day, I did a little rearranging. I did some editing, and here's what I came up with. So if you look at the two of these, they are... 98% the same. The bottom one, which I am calling finished, does not have better rendering. It is not technically any better at all. The only difference are a few design choices that I made, a few edits. So there's a big distinction here. You can know about technique and be a great renderer, but still make bad design choices. And the end result is that it doesn't look as strong as it could. So let's take a look at exactly what I've done here. First, let's look at the back of this thing. You can see here there was this harsh overhang that happened before, and I'm not really sure what it was accomplishing. So I decided to change the shape to keep the whole thing more contained, to have more of a continuous silhouette. And so in this way, I've sort of de-emphasized the back, because really the back of this design is not as important. I want the viewer to be looking at the front. So let's talk about the front. Before, I had a lot of different plates, each at sort of a slightly different angle, and it was sort of noisy. There's just a lot going on. So in the revised version, I just removed a lot. You can see now the planar structure is much more simplified. I also decided to go more angular and sharper. So in the first one, you can see it's got some sort of rounded corners. Overall, I decided that this design seems more angular. Now, since this is a vehicle, we are going to see the front of it like a face. So we're going to derive a lot of the character of the vehicle from the headlights and the windows, the whole front area. So I want to make sure that I'm saying angular and tough. So I just needed to sharpen up some of those edges. Once again, this has nothing to do with technique. The rendering is no better in the second one than it was originally. I'm just making editing choices. Every time you're painting, you're going to be editing as you go. Being an artist, you have an eye, and you can see what's working and what's not working. But what you might not be doing is calling the piece finished, giving it some rest, and then coming back another day and really debating, is it finished? Or could it use a little bit more editing? Because I'd say this piece turned in the last couple percent of work that I did. It went from being mediocre to being a much stronger design. And really it was all just because of a little bit of editing. And if you like this idea of the choices I made while I was editing, that's what my newest premium series is all about. Design Basics is just that. It's talking about the visual language of angles and shapes and colors and why those choices have a strong impact on the final image. And it's not so much about how I actually paint them, but rather the ideas that go into it. So if you haven't watched that yet, check it out. It's in the Control Paint store. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.